What's up, guys? John here, and it's Titan at Time with Rachel Daniels. Hey, guys. We're back for another awesome week. <laughs> yes, yes. We've been having a lot of great topics. Um, I just started doing cardio a little more than I have been lately. Mm -hmm. I kind of fell off for a little bit. So now I'm kind of like getting back at it, you know, getting in my routine because it helps kind of with everything else that I'm doing. For sure. So I figured we'd talk about cardio this week cardio so some I people mean, love it some people hate it some people but it's <laughs> yeah it's a double-edged sword right yeah, but it is essential yeah it, it is, is essential it's just like we all we talk about working out all the time and our diets and how how important those things are but uh cardio plays a big role and it's not always just in uh weight loss and i think we hear about the most like oh my gosh if we want to lose weight go for a run um, but it's essential for other things altogether, you know, your performance when you're working out, your endurance, your heart health. So let's jump right into it. Um, what is cardio? What is cardio? So cardiovascular training. All right. So this could be running. This could be an elliptical machine. This could be you going up a stepper or going up the steps or running up and down steps. Right. This could be walking. This could be a number of different things for the cardiovascular system. That's right. what we're trying to help out here. Um, so what Rachel, Rachel said, so there's a lot of different things that go along with cardiovascular training, right? But the benefits of cardiovascular training are really what we should hone in on because this will affect each and every one of you out there. Right. So from blood flow to um, better mood. sleep, uh, mood. boosting mood, because those endorphins kick in, right? right? So you're running, you, if you do go running, right, and you go past a certain, like, length or, or time or you or, or past a certain point of where you've been, yeah. you might feel those endorphins kick like, in. They call it, like, a runner's high. It's a runner's high. Right? So For I sure. notice it, like, I notice it, like, 10 minutes. I do the Stairmaster a lot. So I notice it, like, the first two minutes of the Stairmaster, you're like, oh, my God. Like, and probably with any other cardio, you're like, oh, my God, how am I going to make it? Right. And then by the end, you know, you're feeling good. You get off. You feel really accomplished. And I think that's why a lot of people do it at the beginning of their day. And they're like, wow, like, I feel, the last five minutes don't feel as bad, right? Because you get those endorphins kicking in. So yep. that's great. And that can last you throughout the rest of your day. It helps with your mood. You set the standard for the rest of the day. Yep. Um, improve your sleep. Improves blood flow. Endurance is really big if you like to yep. work out. Yep. Um, I've noticed that I can get through a lot more intense sets, like super sets, yep. back to back, shorter rest periods. Uh, you can make it because you're not fighting for your breath all the time. This is true. Um, uh, another thing that go along with this, specifically for everybody out there, is it helps in prevention of hypertension. Super right? important, which is a huge problem in America. Huge problem. Diabetes, that's another mm -hmm. one. Uh, heart disease, that's a huge one Big nowadays. Killer. Uh, for men and females, you know, hypertension and, and heart attacks and strokes. So this is just something that will help out with you preventing these negative things that are happening to you. Yeah. Because they can cause a whole bunch of slew of other negative things that could happen to your health too as well if something like this yeah, does happen. Yeah, and, and we're not talking like crazy Olympic cardio either. I, if, I think a lot of studies have shown even just like a 30-minute walk a day is extremely helpful for your cardiovascular health if you know you're consistent with it um make it fun go yep. with friends go in a place where you can walk where it's nice out and you can enjoy scenery like we have beautiful water out here by titan medical center that's Absolutely. a good walk i do Absolutely. that sometimes so we've been talking about walking i talked a little bit about the stairmaster yep. um obviously there's way way such a vast amount of different types of cardio right so um you have really extreme cardio you have more steady state cardio. So let's talk about the different types the, of cardio. The three so, basic ones out there. So hit, hit, hit's the ones you hear hit. all the time. That's like a hot word right yeah, now. Yeah, it is. It right? got super cool. I think like when CrossFit came out. Yep. Um, and things like that. We have like Orange Theory. That might be more uh, steady state intervals. Oh, but that could yeah, still be right. like yeah, hit. Hit right. intervals still hit. So yeah, I guess so. Um, you know, so so hit would be more. It's high. It stands for first of all. It stands for high intensity. Training. Interval training. Interval training. That's right. correct. So we're we're talking where periods of time where you would elevate your heart rate to a certain level and then back off for a That's little right. bit. And then elevate it and then back off. So usually these aren't like super long hour cardio sessions. No. So Usually it's 30 seconds on and then 10 seconds off and yeah. then 30 seconds back on. So some people might do this with like a bike, like a still bike. Yep. Um, they would 
or a treadmill. They like sprinting. Basically, you're going like max as as hard as you as can hard go. as you can possibly go. Yeah, you should feel like you're gonna. You can't make it one more second. That's right. So maybe you would do uh, a full out like sprint for thirty seconds, and then you'd back off and do like a a jog for a minute. Yep. And then you do it again, and then you do that a certain amount of time, maybe ten times or That's right. however many. So that would be like one example of a hit training. So steady state is. Yep. Uh, pretty much what it is you're, yeah. you're you're kind of at a steady pace you're going all like for 30 minutes you're the exact same pace mm. you know the, whether it's a six or a seven on the the, the stairmaster right. or treadmill or whatever it is but you have a constant uh speed or rate that you're going and that's yeah that's another great one for a lot of yeah. people out there and your heart rate's probably staying pretty consistent the whole time like with your inner with hit cardio you're going you're kind of going up and up down and <laughs> um but yeah your heart rate's probably staying around a pretty leveled area that would just be like something that could be walking outside you know it's yeah. pretty steady state yeah uh, and usually this is done for longer amount of periods and it's less intense than a shorter hit training period um hits pretty popular because it it, it, it tends to uh burn a lot of calories in a fast amount of time and keeps it going um throughout, the day. throughout the day but so does steady state if if done correctly you can um accomplish your goals with a, with one the other or i like to do a little bit of both so uh depends what works for you i wouldn't jump right into like sprints if you've like never no, done them like no. maybe do work your way up so uh, that's how it is too with with exercising and doing cardiovascular absolutely. cardio uh exercising you want to just make sure that you know you're doing what's going to benefit you and not negatively affect you. So if you're you're used to doing these exercises, that's one thing. If you're not used to doing these exercises yeah. and you try to just go full out yeah. blast, you could have some issues that could arise. Yeah, um, it can really affect like all your other goals if you try to just. So it's like we're talking about with your. Uh, stress responses and like cortisol and things like that if you if you all of a sudden slam your body with uh trauma which this would your body could consider like serious hit training from that wasn't there the day before and is all of a sudden here consider that kind of high trauma you might get higher cortisol your body might kind of go into shock you might have a hard time losing weight if you're trying if you if you just go from zero to hundred so maybe maybe start a a couple of weeks doing steady state and you can slowly ramp it up until you get there you know that's right uh yeah you gotta crawl <laughs> before you walk and walk before you run yes. so it's true it, in no, anything exactly. you do. yeah exactly you know so i mean that, that's just a big big thing out there and you know with cardio a lot of people want to lose weight that's what they're doing cardio yeah there, there are people out there that want to do cardio spe- specifically for cardiovascular protection so heart disease and yeah, stuff like that or, in, or in, to benefit your sport if you're you know this is true endurance and stamina athlete something like that they want to have true. great endurance yeah. stamina i mean you think about it soccer players basketball players i mean where hits more uh i mean i would think football related where you're right. doing those four downs and then you're mm-hmm. off um but you know soccer you're at a constant go one one way and the right. other way basketball's the exact same way yes. back and forth mm-hmm. you know baseball's really not like that you know but those other sports, I mean, you're you're constantly going in, and that's really where, you know, you see a lot of those athletes when they're going through uh, their practices. There's a lot of running involved, right? Because yeah. they have to prepare for the game. It looks like a lot of the same run. thing. Yeah. Right. You don't want to be huffing and puffing going for the ball. Yeah, you know? exactly. <laughs> you're wore out. I mean, if, if, if you don't build up your endurance and your stamina for sports per se, right, you're going to get it in basketball. Let's just use it for example. Mm-hmm. You're 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 – petered out all right per se right you have no energy and you get the ball passed to you you know the shoot is going to take more energy and if you don't have that energy you might have a sloppy shot or whatever it technique is going to get sloppy right exactly yeah. it's the you same know? in training so if i can't control my breathing through a through a big set on a on a hack squat or a leg press or something i might get sloppy i can't keep my i can't keep my core tight i yeah. can't control my diaphragm because i'm i'm gasping for breath and looking for my water and then i might slip injure myself or not get those last few reps that i really needed to finish my set so it's applicable whether you're a hardcore athlete or whether you're just in everyday life looking out for your health um it's it's so important it goes along with your diet all kinds of stuff so i we've all talked about this new well i guess it's not new now but when this first came out everyone was like on it It was fasted cardio oh yeah yeah, so everyone said like this is the new way like and sometimes when something new comes out, we tend to like bash the old things, right. old ways of cardio or whatever. So, so I've heard a lot of different things about it. When I started working out, I swore by fasted cardio. I thought it was um, 
the best way. It was way more beneficial than any other cardio. Yep. But uh, my views have changed a little bit, and now it's kind of like a either or thing for me. So. Mm-hmm. Fasted cardio literally means you're you're putting your body into action after waking up in the morning. So you're fasted, meaning you haven't had anything to eat or drink for the day, probably since the night before. So the theory behind fasted cardio is that the body is forced to use the carbs and fats. Um, and when you perform cardio in a fasted state, your body's uh, glycogen carb levels are so low that your body has to use stored fat as energy instead of the food that you would have just eaten if you were not doing fasted cardio. That's correct. So, um, in in theory, that sounds, yeah, that makes total sense. Uh, There's no food in my body to use for energy, so my body's going to resort to the next source, which is fat. Fat Okay, yeah. So fat does... Fasted cardio does oxidize and burn fat, but it's it's leveled out by burning less fat for the rest of the day. So if you eat first, kind of the opposite happens. You'd burn slightly less fat during your cardio session, but then you'd burn more after the workout as you mm-hmm. int- intook food the rest of the day. Mm-hmm. So it kind of evens out. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, and either way, fat loss ultimately is determined by a caloric deficit. So fasted cardio, I don't think will provide additional benefits in burning fat from what we've seen on the research, but it's kind of like pick which one, pick which right. one, you know? So, um, and if I, you've been using it, I mean, I guess yeah. it's been working, keep doing it. But it's back to like what we said earlier. Honestly, I, I like to do it um, because it just, I like to, first of all, I like to get cardio out of my way because <laughs> I'm not one of those people who's like, hey, do you want to get up and like run six miles at four in the morning together? Like, <laughs> you want to go on a bike ride forever? I'm like, not really, no. Like, so, and, and if you do love cardio, like, cool. I know people like that, they live for it. That's awesome. But like, that is not me. And I know a lot of other people don't really like it, but we, but we place a level of importance on it because of whatever goals we have. So for me personally, I like to go in the morning. Sometimes I'll do it faster or maybe right after breakfast and get it out of the way. And it was like we were talking about earlier. It kind of puts me in a good mood for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. I've already accomplished this thing. I got endorphins running. Now I can, I set the standard to handle all my other tasks. Otherwise, all day I'm kind of going to be thinking about like, well, I still have to do cardio later, you know? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So It's weighing on your shoulders like, man, damn, I got to do this. But you got to do it, right? It's just me though. You know, it is what it is. I mean, you know, a lot of bodybuilders don't like to do cardio or athletes. It just depends what kind of athlete you are, right? right? If you're a runner, most of those people are lean because they're running all the time. They're mm-hmm. doing a lot of cardio. You know, I mean, even, like I said, basketball, baseball, usually basketball and soccer, excuse me, those athletes are pretty lean usually yeah. because they're running all the time. They're like long-distance you know, runners. Baseball, they're not as big, I guess, you know, or they are. They're bigger, I guess, because of – they're not doing as much cardio, right? They're, they're hitting like in the field. Right. It's yeah. like more of like a hit type situation. Right. Um, golf. <laughs> golf is another one, right? You know, you, I mean, but you're walking. Just you got to get, get my the golf sun. cart. Yeah, you got to get in the golf <laughs> cart. You know, but it is what it is. So, I mean, you know, whether you like doing hit or you like to do faster cardio, whatever works best for you. But if it's not working, then this might be a time to change things up and see if maybe the other route does work. Right. right? You know? I and mean, a lot of, I mean, you can rectify a lot of, diseases and issues that people have have gotten rid of it with just better dieting and cardio like 100 percent. it's super important um but there's a flip side to it so we talked about how great cardio is how we should all do it it doesn't matter what your goals are that it works all across the board whether you're an athlete or just want to be a healthier individual but how do we know when we are doing too much right, right. there's always overdoing it in anything we do 100%. whether it's eating or training or and it applies to cardio. So mm-hmm. how do we know when we're overdoing the cardio and how do we know when to back off? Because some of us some of us are pretty good about knowing their 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 internal, hey, let's pump the brakes. I'm not, really. <laughs> I usually I have good people around me who tell me like or my coach tell me, Hey, it's time to pull it back. So how do we know that, hey, it's time to it's time to bring it back and now we're 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 getting the opposite effect. We're hurting our bodies instead of helping our bodies right. with this cardio. Right, right. So, you know, at that point, you know, you got to know when it, that point is, I guess. If you don't know when that point is, right, you can go by the CDC guidelines. I mean, that's kind of where, yeah. you know, people look for these different things. So at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity physical activity each week or 75 minutes of vigorous intensive activity each week or an equivalent of both together. 
Mm-hmm. So this is something you can look at just for a baseline of maybe, listen, am I overdoing it? Am I not underdoing it? Yeah. <laughs> right? And, and know where it is. And now the next thing is is to look for the, the proper, the red, red flags, right? Mm-hmm. So that's muscle soreness that lingers, painful joints, exercises that were once easy to become more difficult, decreasing interest or enthusiasm for exercising and poor sleep. Yeah. You know, and sleep, that will affect your whole rest of the day if you're getting a lack that of sleep. That is true. Uh, but on the other hand, so I think it's also kind of an it depends answer because it does depend on things like your level of fitness, your overall health, underlying course. health conditions. So, you know, if I'm a professional, uh, I could say bodybuilder, but let's use something that has a lot more emphasis on cardio. I'm a professional, like, triathlete, right? So my limit of pushing it too far is probably the threshold is probably a lot greater of what Absolutely. I can take than somebody who's first starting. So you, you should probably take into account like, what is my level of fitness? Am I just starting out? Am I a pro athlete? Do I have, you know, asthma? Do I have other underlying health conditions that could kind of affect my cardio? Because those all play a role into where you should start and where you should stop. If you have a coach, definitely ask them. If you have a medical doctor who's probably going to recommend you do cardio at some point if you do have any health conditions that could benefit from it they could probably tell give you a good example of hey go walk 30 minutes a day or um this might be too much for you this might not uh and that's how you kind of gauge it but it's like your diet it's like training it's like all of that everything is kind of um you have to be very aware of your body absolutely and right? there's, there's some good tools out there i think you can use now that a lot of people have already which is like your fitbit your Apple Watch, so you're looking at your pulse, your heart, your heart rate. rate. Yeah, I mean these are big things. If your heart rate is too high, pulse is too high, you need to stop and relax, right? right? Exactly. Because, you know those going too high can cause you definitely some more health issues. Yeah, the opposite of which definitely what you're you know, going through, and that's not what you want. You're doing this to be healthier, not to run yourself in the ground. Yeah, absolutely. Se, right. Absolutely. Uh, you know, and people are looking for weight loss, right? Now there's some different things that you can add in with cardiovascular titan therapies yeah. that are going to help you get to oh, that yeah. you know, result hopefully a hell of a lot faster <laughs> uh, one is ECA stack plus yeah that one's a go-to for everybody um, it's going to give you extra energy so uh, help motivation of you doing cardio so if you don't like doing cardio this is going to give you that energy to get, really get up on there that motivation to really start cranking it out you know and Cardio doesn't have to be boring. It doesn't have to suck. Oh, that's a good you know, point. You know, a lot of people do think of running, right, or step master, or stair masters, or elliptical machines. But you know, I mean, even going to like one of the bouncy places with your kid, if you have a kid, mm-hmm. like if you do that constantly yeah. for 30, 30 minutes to an hour, you're going to be out of breath, and you're definitely going to be working yeah. yourself, right? That's a good trick and a good point. If you really hate being on the same machine, if right. you've picked like a stationary machine, like a treadmill or a yeah. stair master. Yeah. Sometimes it's good to get out and think of a way you can trick yourself into not thinking like thinking that you're having fun, which you can be doing. Yeah, you'll be uh, do fun. something outdoors or something that you haven't normally done. You'll know, go rollerblading or or play tennis or something. These like, are cool things. Yeah, or go jump around in the water. You know, swimming, swimming, swimming with your kids or your family. You do that a couple hours, you're gonna be going right to sleep. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, even even if you're by yourself and you're in the pool, like yeah. let's say LA Fitness or uh, what they're called, Sporter now, mm-hmm. you can do swimming, right? Swimming's you can do hard. laps, <laughs> right? Hard. Yeah. I mean, I love swimming. I love doing swimming yeah. all the time. I think it's fun. I'm um, here in Florida. You're gonna swim a lot. Plus, if you're going out the ocean, you want to make sure you can swim. Yeah. <laughs> right? but, yeah, but it's also good for your your mind, right? It's yeah. giving yourself a little kind of break from yep. the normal routine, and uh, you'll probably do. Might, might do a little more cardio than usual if yep. you think you're having fun with it. But yeah, ECA stack is super great. I used that. I remember a few weeks out from my show, I was like, John, like I'm, <laughs> I'm really struggling on this cardio. Like, do you have anything? He was like, yes, ECA stack saved me. Um, yeah. It's great. It is great. And there's a, there's different um, there's different like levels of that too. So some people are more sensitive right. to caffeine. Um, some people are allergic to caffeine. So ephedrine, caffeine, aspirin, B12, and chromium are what are in the ECA stack. But let's say you're allergic to caffeine and there's people out there that are. Which you still need that we stimulus. can definitely we can definitely customize that blend so it doesn't have That's any caffeine awesome. in it. That's awesome. So that'll help the person out and make sure there's no heart palpitations, mm-hmm. no jitters, no um some people they get really like they get really I don't know like 
I like it like that on Yohim Vine. Yeah, they, they get like really weird about it. Anxious. Yeah, and with anxiety. Uh, yeah, anxiety, yeah. and, and uh, that you won't get that. So that's another big one. Right, um, you want the energy without like the. The jitters. Yeah, you shouldn't be like a little pinball. Yeah, a pinball going. <laughs> right. beep, 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 beep. Should not feel like that. Some people think like that's that's when they know it kicks in. Like mm, that's not how. It's probably it should a little be. too much. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, the next thing is is knowing your body type, right? Ectomorph, mesomorph, mm. endomorph. Uh, these are three things that you should know right off the bat. Like if you don't know, Google it. Like all right, so what are these body types? And then kind of. Look at yourself and how you've been your whole life, right? Right. Um, you know, for me, I'm an ectomorph. So it's really hard for me to put on a lot of weight, right? I can lose weight a lot faster than putting it on. Um, You're the skinny guy. I, I'm the skinnier guy. <laughs> I am. You know, that is what it is, you know. But you got to keep eating. That's another yeah, big thing that plays important. a part of it. Yeah, right? exactly. You don't want to go into a catabolic effect when you're running or doing, you know, so much cardio. And that's where, like, Titan Complete can come into play because mm-hmm. the branch chain amino acids in there. Use that every morning. But, um, you know, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, endomorph is, is more of, like, a person that has a lot more body weight on them. It's harder for mm-hmm. them to lose weight than gain. Um, and then you have... Um, mesomorph. You have, yeah, your mesomorph. Well, the, like, right in the middle. Like, yeah. athletic, mm-hmm. muscular... So those, are, I mean, that's probably the best one to be. Yeah, it yeah. really is. Where you, you know? can you can kind of you can get pretty lean. You don't have a whole, whole lot of trouble. You got the best of both ready fat, but you don't have a whole lot of trouble putting on muscle either. <laughs> yeah. That sounds pretty good to me. It does. Yeah. So, it but does. That, that's important to know to know because uh, you might need to do a different types of cardio than um, someone with a different body type, and it's the same with your diet. You know, your diet's gonna heavily depend on what type of body type you have and how you respond to it so 100 percent, your cardio should probably coincide to to a certain point of, of what you're eating and putting in you and so you can stay fueled for your for your sessions whatever they are definitely and if you're trying to lose weight going to a calorie deficit you know a Absolutely. caloric deficit like that's the biggest thing i think uh, out of this right cardio is very important um but for people that want to lose weight that is what it is ultimately I mean, right you know so you're going to want to get to that stage. Uh, another one that will help, Prometheus. So Prometheus, what it does is it has um, Wellbutrin in it, right? Mm-hmm. So it's going to help increase mood more. Okay. Uh, cut cravings as well. Ooh. Um, so that's a big one. People have sugar okay. cravings, all these different cravings. This will help curb that along with uh, metformin. So awesome. met- metformin is like a glucose disposal agent mm-hmm. to a certain degree, right? He's like to tell diabetes patients. Right. Yeah. So you're getting all that glucose out of the bloodstream, which is good because mm-hmm. glucose can turn into fat and then store. Mm-hmm. So that's another big one. Uh, B12 is in there too as well because it's going to help a lot with energy and a lot of things with metabolism. So that's another one. And you can mix ECA stack with Prometheus. Oh. So that's another bonus. How about recovery? Recovery factor. So recovery factor, I mean, you know, you can take Hercules Potion along with it, mm-hmm. right? Because it has glutamine in there for recovery mm-hmm. factor. Um, you know, another one is Titan Complete, I say, because the branch chains are in there, leucine, yeah. isoleucine, and valine. Make sure you're not going through a catabolic effect, making sure, you know, you're yeah. building that lean muscle mass too as well. You know, these are things that you can just add into cardiovascular training that are going to benefit you a lot, lot more and hopefully get you the result that you want to get right. a lot faster. And if you guys are still like, oh my gosh, I'm confused as to which therapy is right for me, come on in, give us a call, text us. We can have our doctors meet with you and figure out what's right for you so you feel comfortable knowing like this is for me and this is what we do we do custom therapies for you guys to help that's your right. needs not just everyone across the board that's so. right and we can help you out anywhere in the united states except for idaho and ohio <laughs> okay so 48 <laughs> states in the united states um we can help you guys out just give us a call or text 727-389-3220 yeah. we can help you guys anything from blood testing to hrt weight loss uh therapies peptides and that could be for healing or weight loss um libido enhancers because that's another good one and that's great for cardiovascular too it right? is yeah <laughs> it is don't I'll, don't not count that in there definitely not definitely not as long as you're doing the moving yeah right? exactly it depends on what's <laughs> okay we'll leave that out for another episode so, yeah there's a lot more things that we can help you guys out with so guys just give us a call or text 727-389-3220 so i think that can sum up cardio and some of the therapies that can help you out with the weight loss effect and what you're trying to achieve. Yep. So that's another tight awesome. net time with Rachel Daniels. And Sean. <laughs> and we'll see you next week, guys. Be safe and live your Titan lifestyle. Later, guys. What you, what you gonna do?